Sustainability in energy supply is all about balancing supply and demand while reducing waste and inefficiency. We need to explore how it's possible and important to move to a more sustainable energy supply. Whilst energy supply can be increased through the development of more renewable resources and the further exploitation of fossil fuels, energy conservation can help reduce the demand. By designing more energy efficient workplaces and homes, energy can be conserved and costs lowered. Increasing efficiency and reducing the use of fossil fuels overall will certainly help reduce emissions and lead to a lower carbon footprint. Within the home there are a number of energy conservation ideas. For example, solar panels can be placed on the roof for the home to use the power from the sun and to sell any excess back to the grid. Double glazing and well-fitted windows reduce drafts and allow heat retention in the winter. Cavity wall and loft insulation is critical in retaining heat within the house and can lead to big reductions in payments and excessive use of energy. Energy efficient lighting within the house will also reduce energy consumption and the quality of the energy efficient lighting has certainly improved over the last few years. And making sure your appliances like dishwashers, washing machines and even TVs are as energy efficient as possible. Not only will you reduce the amount of energy used and help protect the planet and reserves for the future, but you will also save money. There are a number of ways in which energy demand can be reduced. Financial incentives may be offered to firms as well as raising awareness of the need to save energy whilst using it more efficiently. For example, the Marriott chain of hotels had an automated system that places it on an energy saving standby setting at any time when the national grid is under stress and needs to reduce demand. This means that appliances such as air conditioning can be turned down instantly without a great difference being felt by the customers. This helps to reduce the energy costs and the hotel chain is also paid a supplement for reducing their costs as well. Another example to save energy is turning appliances off rather than leaving them on standby, particularly at night time when they aren't in use. What could you turn off at night to save money? Appliances can be designed to use less energy. For example, dishwashers have various settings so can use less hot water. Vehicle manufacturers are creating lighter cars and improving aerodynamic efficiency in order to increase fuel efficiency. Electric and hybrid cars have become commonplace on the roads, with these vehicles helping to reduce the need for petrol and diesel, thus reducing emissions. Biofuels are also being developed with 90% of new cars in Brazil running on both ethanol and petrol. Ethanol is cheaper and more environmentally friendly than petrol. But controversially, biofuels need to be grown in fields, replacing food crops and adding to food supply issues. Malmo in Sweden is leading the way in sustainable energy developments. Their Western Harbour is a great example of sustainable urban development, with the houses designed to conserve and generate energy and the transport system put in place to reduce car usage. All of the 1,000 plus buildings use 100% renewable energy, with solar tubes on the outside of the building producing hot water that's then stored in aquifers and used to heat the buildings. Wind power is used to pump the water. The roofs have photovoltaic panels with further energy being produced by a wind turbine. Local sewage and rubbish is used to produce biogas. Public transport is important, with regular buses and water taxis helping to reduce the amount of car usage. Car sharing and improved cycle lanes have also helped reduce the reliance on cars. There are many ways that people can become more efficient with their use of energy, on a national, local and individual level. We need to recognise these opportunities and make changes for a sustainable and greener future. <laughs>